Real disciples, watch, feel brokenness over sin. Real disciples feel grief in their heart over sin. Real disciples search their heart and they say, Lord, deal with the sin that's in my heart. Real disciples, they wring out their mess in the presence of a holy God. Real disciples want a man deal with the negative and the dark things they see inside of their heart. How are you a disciple with no desire for a pure heart? How are we disciples with no desire for a consecrated interior life? You'll be jealous of people with an anointing, but don't want to pay the price to have that. You'll be jealous of people who got favor, but don't want to pay the price to have that. See, we love to shout over blessing. Man, I dare, man, we would shout to say over the fact we're going to wring out the sin that's in our heart even tonight. Why won't you shout about that? The same God that Isaiah saw, the pre-incarnate Christ, is the same Lord that called his followers to be holy like God is holy. But Isaiah didn't stop there with his brokenness. He said in the back half of verse 5, and I dwell amongst a people with unclean lips. You know what this is? This is Isaiah looking out over his nation and being broken over the sins of his nation. This is the people of God looking out over America and being grieved with the things we see in America. How do you see the mockery of Christ on social media and that not grieve you? How do you see shenanigans in churches and that not grieve you? How do you see foolishness in churches and that not grieve you? How do you see, I don't care, demonic sexual agendas? I don't care. Infiltrating the church and that not grieve you? How do you see gay bishops married to men and that not grieve you? What are we talking about? How do you see transvestite pastors and that not grieve you? How do you see sexual perversion trying to change the definition of marriage and that not grieve you? How do you see false teaching and that not grieve you? If the people of God are not grieved by the sins of America, who will cry out for the nation? I don't care. I said that. Ain't marrying two men. Ain't marrying two women. How do you see all of this perversion in a country and your heart not be broken? Was it not the person you call Lord who looked over Jerusalem and wept over the sins of that city? If you don't shed tears for the condition of America, man, God help this nation. Listen, this ain't no sermon. This is a clarion call for us to wake up tonight. The devil will be in trouble if 7,000 of us, man, started crying out against the sins of the nation. 